Closer to home now, Congressional District 7 on the city's west side is up for grabs tonight in a tight race between Republican incumbent John Culberson and his challenger Democrat Lizzie Fletcher. Channel 2's Mario Diaz is live now at the side of Congressman Culberson's watch party, Sylvia's Enchilada Kitchen in the Energy Corridor. Mario? Lauren, it may all come down to CD7 regarding the U.S. House of Representatives. The story nationwide is that Democrats this evening must retain all of their current seats and capture 23 more Republican seats to seize control of the Congress on the House of Representatives side. This said, this is a district that has been targeted by Democrats because of the performance that we saw here in 2016 by Hillary Clinton. So for current U.S. Representative John Culberson, it has been a long stretch dating back to the summer for this campaign as he's been battling a very tight race against an insurgent Democratic candidate in Lizzie Fletcher. The upstart challenger has been supported heavily by the DNC as well as through outside spending. The Culberson campaign says the difference is approximately $3.4 million. Culberson told me at a polling station in the Energy Corridor this afternoon, monies in campaigns is very, is very nice. However, it doesn't vote. Every campaign is different, and, and this campaign has been more expensive than others I've faced, but I've always been outspent by my Democrat opponents, but they forget you don't count dollar bills on election night. Uh, this is very true. They do not do just that. Of course, this will be a tight race. We plan to be here throughout the course of the evening until a victor is declared in CD7. Reporting live in the Energy Corridor, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Mario. Culberson's challenger, Lizzie Fletcher, will watch the race from the Good Company Armadillo Palace on Kirby. That's where we find Channel 2 Sophia Beausoleil covering the story for us. Sophia? Bill, now, right now, organizers are getting ready for tonight's event where supporters of Lizzie Fletcher will come here to watch as the results start to trickle in. We did catch up with her earlier today. She and her husband, Scott, went to cast their ballots at St. Anne's Catholic Church off of Westheimer. Then she went to go visit with voters and then made her way to the campaign office where she met with volunteers who were doing those last minute phone calls to voters to get them to those polling places. Now, I asked Fletcher how she's feeling. The first time candidate says she she is feeling great and is confident about winning this election. This is the most important election of my lifetime, um, but it's not because I'm on the ballot. That's the reason I'm on the ballot, and I'm running because I think that we have a lot of things we can do if we'll work together, um, but we need people to go to Washington that are actually going to do that. And so for me, um, just getting to today, the incredible team we've built, the incredible amount of support. And Fletcher, who is an attorney, says that today all the people that she saw in line and all the records that we've been talking about in the past two weeks of early voting, she thinks that that is a sign of the times. But we will all find out tonight once we get all those results from the vote. Reporting live from Houston, Sophia Bosley, KPRC, Channel 2 News.